It's one of the most common occurrences in content consumption. You see a piece of media and find it to be very serious. So serious that you feel it necessary to respond with a devastating clap back. But did you waste your time clapping back at a mere joke? Today, we'll be examining the law that says it's impossible to know. I remember the first time I viewed the film Austin Powers. I cried for days after watching it. So sad that the world's intelligence agencies were engaging in not only risky cryogenic procedures, but that the agent they did choose to revive was the epitome of a clueless boomer. A sexist relic that should have stayed buried in the past. In fact, I spent the entire film yelling sarcastic responses at the screen, such as, wow, Unfreezing this spy from 1967 is a good use of our tax dollars, not, said no one ever, until I was eventually escorted out of the theater for what I assumed was speaking too much truth to power. Or, for example, take the time I saw a Garfield comic strip. In it, a cat was suffering from depression and anxiety, and instead of attempting to find a healthy solution to the problem, the cat's owner allows it to eat unhealthy portions of processed cheese and hormone-injected beef-filled lasagna. In fact, I even sat down and wrote a strongly worded letter to the editor of my local newspaper, explaining that I would be canceling my subscription because these photographs of said unhealthy cat were printed in a section of the paper labeled comics, implying that there was something funny about this real-life feline abuse. Or how about this article I just saw in a publication called The Satire News? Hog elected president. As soon as I'm done recording this video, I'm gonna write the angriest response ever to the idiots who voted for this pig. But even though most people would agree that angrily responding to these pieces of content was a good use of my time, there is no way to be 100% sure I'm not wasting my energy clapping back at a mere joke. Why? Because of the law. Specifically, a scientific principle known as Poe's Law. And here to explain it is the puppet that makes science cool and fun, Dr. Fortnite B. Science. So what is Poe's Law? Poe's Law was created in 2011 by a guy named Poe. Poe was browsing the internet one day and came across this account entitled Kanye West Parody. Believing it to be the actual account of Kanye West, he tweeted at it thousands of times, hoping that Kanye West would listen to his mixtape. Ho told all his friends and family that he was in contact with Mr. West, and it was only a matter of time before West featured Poe on one of his songs. So certain was Poe that he was talking to the real Kanye West that he announced to everyone he knew that on January 1st, 2012, he would be releasing a new album with Kanye. But that day came, and the album did not. And that's when Poe realized, there is no way to tell if something is real or a joke. After all, Kanye West parody had a picture of Kanye West, and just like the actual Kanye West Twitter account, contained brief passages of text. So how does Poe's Law play out in practice? I challenged myself to view a series of images which I printed out, and now I'm going to figure out if they are sincere or jokes, with the only resources available to me being context clues, web search, asking friends, simple common sense, and a device known as the Poometer. I purchased this Poometer from Poe himself, and he says it can be used to determine if something is a joke or not. It costs $10,000, and when I ordered it from Poe over the phone, I sounded like I was on speaker and could hear a large group of people laughing at me in the background. Anyway, let's test out Poe's Law to see what's real and what's a joke. Okay, first up, the satire news. I think this is real news and not satire. Let's see. Oh, it's a joke. Well, there you go. Poe's Law in action, folks. There's no way to tell. Bro. What's the matter with you? It's a joke. Can't you tell? You're just making yourself look stupid. Stupid? What are you talking about? I'm making myself look smart by citing Poe's Law. Okay, well then Poe is making you look stupid by giving you an excuse not to use your brain. Yeah, right. 
This is a freaking Poe we're talking about. He would never make anyone look stupid. Now, let's run these images through the poa meter that I bought for $10,000. Wait, this is just a camera battery charger. What the f***, Poe? You made me look stupid. That's it. We're tracking down Poe for an ambush interview about his law. How are we gonna find him? Wait a minute, let me see that poometer. There's a little sticker on here. It says, if you're stupid enough to spend $10,000 buying this, come visit me at <laughs> so I can laugh in your face. What the f***, Poe? Hello, is Poe home? What's this about? Your law that makes people look stupid. Get away, I'm not answering any questions about my law. Okay, well, I guess I'll never get the resolution I needed to my video. <sighs> or, wait a minute. Um, actually, I'm not here to ask you a question about your law. I'm here to deliver a delicious fruit basket from Barack Obama. Yeah, you see, uh, when I said I was here to ask you questions about your law, it was actually satire, but there was no way to tell because of Poe's law. Ah, you're Poe? But I thought you were. Dr. Fortnite B. Science? Believe it or not, that's a fake name. My real name is Peter Overwatch Epic Games. You mean... That's right, Poe. I changed my name and went into hiding because I was sick of people asking me to repeal my law. Okay, so why didn't you rescind your law right now? The cameras are on, we can make the announcement here and now. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, if you get into an argument with something and it turns out it was just a joke, you better delete those comments because Poe's law is officially... Repealed. And so, with Poe's Law gone, everyone was a lot more careful about the content they responded to online. This article in the satire news is making me really mad, but I think I'm just going to ignore it instead of sharing it with my epic clapback. Because if it turns out to be a joke, I no longer have the excuse of claiming this is an example of Poe's Law. Ooh, what's this? A breaking news story. This just in. Get ready to start leaving those savage clapbacks on potentially satirical content again, folks, because Poe's law has just been reinstated by President Hogg. Ah, oh, this is making me so mad. Unless it's satire.